So, if you think this is bet all oh, beat up, you should see the shipping box. Jeez, it's like, <laughs> it was really beat up. <laughs> have come from China and from there like that. Let's make sure, let's see how the doll is. Alright, you know. Let's see. Oh. Isn't that nice looking? Okay. Here's the wig. There's the usual sponge. The outfit. And this is a little bonus. Oh, look at that, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now for the main event. Oh, horns. She is absolutely beautiful. So last time I, like, rather than a custom skin, this is like the default full set skin color. I really like it. It's, um, this has made me think of like, like a caramel latte, <laughs> sort of. Okay. There's a minor seam right there and there, but it's faint and you'll never see it with clothes. Look at the feet, cute little feet. Let's see, yep, hands, arms, rotate the shoulder. Look at the cute little hands. All right. Is she strung better than the last one? That was similar to this? I don't know, maybe? It's hard to tell. The, I mean, the way the legs are designed with the balls, they are... Um, this could be a little kicky. I have found that if you put the ball a little backwards like this, um, or like without any clothes on, you can see the hole, the gap. Uh, let's see. This sits a little better. I don't know. I keep rotating it until it like sits fine. But this, I feel like she does hold her poses a lot better than like our previous one that was like this. I I think maybe, I don't know, maybe, is she a little bit tighter? I'm like, not, hopefully not too tight. So then that's when the issue comes in. She has, let me look here. Yeah, she just has like really dark eyes. I'm probably gonna eventually change that because I don't, like, you can't really see her eye color too well. I don't know if it's too dark. <laughs> And you can't see the eyes in, in like a slit, like a small eye like that. So, here's the dress. Before I put it on her, Velcro from here to here. It's got roses with these long ribbons. 
And then these, which are ankle, they go around ankles. Here is the wig out of the bag with the stuffing taken out. It's pretty soft. You know, it has a little bit of that coarse, you know, artificial hair feel. But other than that, it's also very soft. So, what was in this bag? I unrolled it. And it was these horns. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the colors on that. So at first looking at it, I was like, are there no magnets? And I was like, oh no, I guess... Yeah, there it is. You know, I tried it on the head and it, you know, it just like really just kind of snaps right on. So without the wig, you know, a little glimpse of the elephant. If it doesn't hold through the wig, I have extra little tiny magnets that I can put underneath for extra security. So yeah, right off the bat, it feels loosely secure, like it definitely needs another magnet, but shaking it around, it doesn't come off. I still might want to put another one underneath for a little extra security. So she is definitely a lot like stiffer, like better to hold, except for the legs. I might have put a little hot glue on them, but that is, I'd say, a fault with the design. That ball joint is like the worst idea ever. <laughs> Otherwise, like, because she holds really well. She's very kind of stiff. And my other one that's similar to her is um, a lot more kicky. I almost forgot about the free gift. There it is. Real working tires. It took a long while to get her legs to want to go straight but there it is she's she can stand on it not really skating a tire but so here are my two uh, side by side doesn't go with the black. I have white ones, but they're on another doll. But, uh, there we go. At least she has shoes. 